if you have an accent, hate calling, or get nervous on the phone, this video is for you. If you want to completely automate your outreach and use AI to cold call SMMA clients, then keep watching. Meet Daniel. He's currently doing over 50K per month with his agency. He's one of the coaches inside of our program. So if you're interested in that, just check the first link. He's created this entirely new system with AI that helps you cold call without even having to use anything. You don't have to do absolutely anything. It's completely hands off and automated. So if you're interested in this, keep watching till the end because we're going to show you exactly how to do it. All right, guys. So here we have Dan. Dan, do you want to give a quick introduction of yourself? Hey guys. Yeah, my name's Dan. Um, I'm actually at a 50K right now, my agency per month. And uh, yeah, I've been doing it for about two and a half years. We just crossed the million dollar mark in our agency. And recently I've been using this soundboard that's been helping me do a lot of outreach because my niche is HVAC. So for my niche, it's very important to do cold calling. And I've found a way to automate that using my voice. I'm literally cold calling using my voice without actually being on the phone. That's awesome. Dan, just a quick question for you. So if anybody wanted to do cold calling within their niche, would this system be possible for them? Yeah, for sure. Anybody that has a solid script can use this soundboard for either doing outreach for your own agency or even fulfillment for your own clients and setting appointments for them. And what are the benefits? You told me, you know, you, you can have a much cheaper VA. You don't need to actually taking be taking any type of calls or anything like that. Yeah, so I think the, the two biggest things that you can take away from this is the debt, like for sure the cost. So when I first started hiring VAs for cold calling, I would hire a really good one for $6 an hour. So not only did it take a long time to find somebody with a good accent, with good experience, but then you also have to pay them $6 an hour, which is like double what I'm paying right now. So that's number one. But number two, it's the attitude because one of the biggest cons for cold calling, especially if you're new, is just the burnout. You get burnt out, especially if you're new doing cold calls. But even my VAs, they're going to get burnt out too at some point. So with the soundboard that I've invented, it's never going to have a bad tone. It's always going to have the same delivery on every single call. That's awesome. Let's show them, Dan. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen, and I'll just kind of show you guys a, a little bit about how it works. The first thing I want to show you, so here's a live example of a call that we did. Uh, this is an actual client. We did this call a couple weeks ago. So I'll just play this first call for you and then I'll play the follow up so you can see how this works. By the way, again, this is not me. This is a soundboard, a VA using my voice. Here we go. We'll call an action there. May I help you? Hey, this is Dan. Are you guys able to do replacements or like installs? Yes. Hey, I know I just randomly called you guys out of nowhere. The reason why I'm calling you is because I'm in the real estate space. So I work with like a large network of homeowners that hit me up for replacements. And normally I would send it to my normal guy, but he just retired. So I've been calling a couple other companies. Um, everybody's super busy right now, but um, I'm trying to see if you guys are available to see some of these referrals. Um, what about talent in? Okay, and we, I mean, we talk to them one on one. So as long as they qualify, like they have a good credit score for financing, if they need it, and they actually need the job, we'll just schedule the install. And then after the job is done, we just ask for ten percent of profit once the job is done. So what? So you all are doing the pricing too? Yes, yeah, so you guys will still do your regular thing. We just talk to them one on one. We qualify them, make sure they have a good credit score, and then we'll schedule the estimate. From there, you guys show up, you do your thing, you sell it your way, and then once okay. The we just ask for ten percent of profits once the job is done, not the full. Ten percent of profit. So that, okay, not yeah. So so that's whatever. That's what, okay. Not not the full job. Just ten percent of profit. Yeah. Okay. Um. I mean, that sounds like something we could do. I mean, at least try it out and see how it works. So yeah, what's the good email for you? I'll send over some stuff. Um. It will be info at actionairandheating.com. Sounds good. I'll send over the email for now. And my name is Dan, by the way. What's your name? Uh, my name is Mr. Israel. Just like the country. Okay, got it. And can I text this number, by the way? Uh, no, this is the landline. Okay, very nice to meet you. I'll send everything over right now and I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. All right, thank you. All right. So there you go. We got some objections there, right? Like, oh, what city are they in? So rather than actually answering that question, she just went into the next part of the script where we talk about qualifying them. Um, and then uh, I mentioned the 10%. He's like, wait, so are you guys going to sell it? That's also a common objection. So we have a rebuttal for that too. Every common objection that we have, we have a sound recording for it. So that's the that initial call. So awesome. It sounds so natural. It sounds like it's literally you, but in reality, it's literally just a VA clicking buttons to match your voice. Yeah. And on top of that, when they get to the sales call, they think they've been talking to me the whole time. So there's already a lot of report established before the call even happens. So that's the first initial call. So we actually followed up with them a couple of times to try to schedule that call. Every single call that is interested like this 
my VAs are then assigned with a second soundboard, a new set of recordings to then schedule sales calls with them. So I have one right here and I'll play it for you guys. Thank you for calling Action Air. May I help you? Hey, it's Ben. I was the guy that was calling you guys about the referrals. How are you? Uh, yes, sir. We never received that email. Hey, I know you're probably super busy. That's why I was calling. I wanted to see when I could get 15 minutes of your time to show you the platform of how I'm going to send you these referrals. What do you have time like later today or tomorrow? Uh, don't do work on Saturday and I'm waiting on my joint. Um, and let's see, today I uh, probably won't be available until after 6 Eastern Standard Time. Good time. Uh, what I'll do right now, though, is I'm going to send you access to the Zoom link to your email and to text. And then I'm also going to send you some information that way you work with you. All right? All right. Okay, sounds good. Let's do it at that time. I'm going to send over some information right now that we know to expect before the call. And then I'll see you on Zoom at that time. Have a great day. All right. Thank you. That's it. Scheduled call. So he said, hey, I'll be available at 6. I said, great, let's do it at that time. And then we schedule it in. So even the follow-ups are automated to that point. So we were following up for a little while. Um, he didn't actually join that Zoom meeting. I think we both missed it. I was in Mexico last week. So that's why we didn't do the sales call. But we actually did the sales call this past Wednesday. Today's the fifth. Uh, and yeah, we actually closed him yesterday. So this was a 13 minute conversation that we had. Um, I had him sign the agreement. He paid a $1,500 invoice. Let's go. That is awesome. That is awesome. I haven't seen anybody do this at all. Okay. So that's the showcase, just kind of proving like the concept so you guys can see how it all works. Now I just want to show uh, my actual Google Drive so you can see some of the recordings that I have, maybe some things that you can even add in there for yourself, depending on what niche you're in. So uh, let's take a look at this. Let's go back to here. So you can see I have three different ones. I have cold leads, like the initial call you heard. I have warm leads for the second call that you heard. But then we also do outreach with SMS, right? And this is for like inbound leads that we get through TikTok or um, other SMS methods of outreach that we use like WhatsApp or even iMessage. So if we message somebody through SMS and they tell us that they're interested, we will call them using the SMS warm lead. So I'll start with the cold leads just so you can see uh, kind of what I'm doing here. So I have different lines of the script, but I'll have multiple recordings of the same line. Because if you guys have ever done cold calling, you know that if you answer the if they answer the phone and you say that first line, hey, what's up? Um, are you guys able to take on some new installs right now? Sometimes, many times, they will ask a second question just to verify if you're an actual customer or if you're just trying to sell something. So sometimes they'll be like, yeah, what do you need? Or what are you looking for? Or what is this about? And so I'll just have like a re- Hey, this is Dan. Are you guys able to do replacements or like installs? So that's one, right? And then if they're like, well, what is this about? What do you mean? I have line number two, which is the same thing. Yeah, I was trying to find somebody that can do installs. Are you guys an HVAC company? I mean, yeah, we're an HVAC company. I mean, what is this about, though? I was just on Google. I was trying to find an HVAC company that can do some installs right now. Are you guys available for that? So you can see we have the same thing three different ways in the case that they asked the same thing or if they didn't hear us, yeah. right, so that we don't sound like a recording. So same thing with line two, line three, line four. So I'll just play the second one so you can see what I say. Okay, great. I was trying to find someone that's available to take my referrals. Are you guys able to take some referrals right now? Uh, possibly. Oh, what do you got for me? Yeah, so I'm in the real estate space. I actually have a large network of homeowners that constantly reach out to me for like solar, roofing, in this case HVAC. So we talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. As long as they qualify for financing if they need it and they actually want to do the job, we just refer them out to you guys. All we ask for is 10% once the job is done, if you guys are okay with that. And then if they say yes, then we'll just go to the line four. All right. Well, I wasn't looking for a decision now. I just wanted to introduce myself, make the connection. Um, I can send you some info in case you want to check it out. What's a good email for you? And then, of course, right. the, the outro. Yeah. So you have an intro, three variations. You have the offer, three variations. Then you have the explanation, three variations. And then the call to action, three variations. And then an right. outro. Yeah, the outro is just like, okay, great. I'll send it. Have a great day. That's it. Okay. Do you also record little things like I heard one time there was like a yeah in the middle um, answering a conversation. So you do have other things like, you know, objections, right? Yeah. So I have early objections. Um, like if by line one or line two, they're like, no, I don't want anything to do with you. Then we have like early objection rebuttals. 
Um, in case people ask, like, who are you? Where are you calling from? How much does this cost? General questions. These general questions are for any specific question that we don't have a, an exact recording for. So, for example, if we get something crazy like, I don't know, like, <laughs> what's your favorite color? Just for example, right? Like just something random that you can't answer on the phone. We have like a general questions like this. Perfect. Yeah, that's actually why I was calling. I just wanted to send you an email with information about it. That way you can see it for yourself. What's a good email for you? So always go back to that email, right? So, well, how does this work? How does that work? Perfect. That's why I was calling. I was actually calling to send you some more info. What's a good email for you? So this is completely bulletproof. There's no way there would be any situation where the virtual assistant could not answer. Pretty much, yeah. And if if we do, because I started using this probably two months ago. And even still, like two weeks ago, we'll get new common objections that we have to make new recordings for. So, you know, sometimes if you get some new ones, that's fine. Just make the recording for whatever common objections you get. So this can not only be used for outreach. You could also use this for fulfillment. So that's what I'm doing now. For my HVAC partners that I work with, every single lead that comes in, I have a VA that uses a soundboard to schedule estimates for my client. That's awesome. So what's kind of the system that you use? You scrape leads, then you call them up using a, a virtual assistant, or you do SMS and then you call them, right? Correct. So if I'm doing SMS, we'll send out the first initial text, if they reply that they're interested, then we'll call them with the soundboard for SMS, which is the exact same, except the intro is different. The intro will say something like, hey, I know I just randomly texted you out of nowhere. And then the rest is the same. So uh, that's and then an example. you have a follow up as well uh, for warm leads. And then you have, you know, you could you could do this with absolutely anything, right? You could do meeting reminders with this. Yeah, you could do meeting reminders for this, anything that is on the phone, pretty much. A lot of people think that cold calls isn't like, you know, a standard conversation that's usually always the same, but in reality, it really is, right? As far as like the flow or like the types of questions you get, every call is the same. Um, the only thing that changes really is the tone, which is why we have the variations of each line. Yeah, that's awesome. So Dan, um, Let's say, what type of niches do you think this would work with? Do you think it would work with every single niche? Excuse it's me, let phone. me say that. <laughs> Not every single niche is, works for cold calling. For example, one of the first niches I ever tried to cold call was dentists. That was the worst possible niche I could have cold called with because you get the, first of all, the gatekeeper. Then you get yeah. an office manager. Then you get the dentist, maybe if they're not available, you know, or with some client that they have. So that's a really bad niche to cold call in. But if you've already tried to cold call and you're just like tired of the burnout or tired of hiring good people, or like, you know what I'm saying, spending the time to hire more expensive cold callers that still have burnout, this is such a good tool. So Dan, how do you actually set this up? I'm sure a lot of people are actually wondering how to set it up. Yes, yeah, so this is mainly gonna be for virtual assistants, right? So when I designed it, it was specifically for Windows. Now, if you're using Mac, it's fine you can just download a virtual box and use the soundboard. But again, the whole purpose of the soundboard is to outsource it and give it to a virtual assistant. And most virtual assistants are gonna be using Windows. So let me show you how this is set up. The first thing that we're gonna do is open the sound settings inside of Windows. So if you're using an updated version of Windows, this is how it's gonna look like. Um, we're gonna scroll down and go to more sound settings. Once we click on that, it'll have a window like this. Once this window is open though, you just want to right click somewhere and make sure that you show disabled devices and show disconnected devices. Once that's done, you'll see, yeah, once you do that, just make sure you're on recording and then you'll see st stereo mix is a microphone that picks up recordings from the sounds coming from your system. So if you play any audio from your system, it's going to go through stereo mix. So make sure that this is enabled. So you can just right click on that and then enable it. If it's already enabled good, just set it as default. This is now going to play your system sounds through this microphone. That's it. So make sure that's set as default. And then we usually play the recordings through the sound recorder, which is again, a, a default program that's already installed on Windows. And you can just play them through there, or we prefer to play them through an actual folder. 
because you can just see like all the recordings in one place. So I'm gonna go here. So you'll just have the virtual assistants have it all open inside of the folder. They just double click and it plays. Right. And we'll usually so, do it like this so you can see more and it's like faster to click on them. What's the most efficient way? This one, right? Because you yes. want to minimize the the delay between them saying something and the VA having to pick a recording. Right. right? You don't want to scroll. You just have to like click on it. So this is the best way to have it set up. So uh, once that's set up, now you have to just set it up in high level, which is extremely simple to do. Once you're in high level, if you're using a browser like Google Chrome, just make sure that the microphone that's being used in Google Chrome is stereo mix, right? Because we want to pick up the system sound playing from the recording. And that's it. Once it's set up in Google Chrome, you start playing the recordings on a real call. And that's it. You're using your own voice as a sound. That's all I got for now. I've been using the system, like I said, for about two months right now. Uh, we're consistently closing deals. We just closed one yesterday for 1500 bucks using the soundboard. And this is just the beginning, right? We're now coming into an age of AI. Soon we're going to get to the point where we don't even have to press buttons. You know, the AI will just respond based on what they're saying. So that's kind of where we're headed right now. But, you know, I just started using this two months ago. I'm still kind of refining it. But if you guys want to use this, like I said, for your own outreach or even for your client's fulfillment, it's such a good tool to use to save money and time and also make way more money. Boom. Mic drop. <laughs> So yeah, if you guys That's have awesome. any questions on this, please drop a comment under this video right now. I will personally get back to all the comments in the chat in case you guys want to see some more or if you have questions about how you can implement this free tool to utilize. That's awesome. That's awesome. Anything of yours. Uh, so, you know, this is completely your method. Full credits to you. Where do you want people to, to follow you on? Uh, yeah, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's Dan the MKT man on Instagram and TikTok. Dude. <laughs> Wait, no, yeah, no, no. Sure.